continuing our discussion of vulnerabilities, we next want to consider something called a format string vulnerability. So what is this? Well, if I want to print something using C or C-like languages, I generally will call a function called printf. So here I have a very simple program. All it does is call printf. And again, I foolishly allow the user control over the arguments that are passed to printf which is a problem. So here, I just call printf. Normally, this would work fine as long as the user doesn't input anything crazy. The real root of this problem is that printf, you can call it and give it one argument, and it will print whatever. Or you can call it and give it the first argument as a format string. So a format string is used to define the way that your stuff is displayed. So maybe you want a certain number of decimal places. Maybe you want some leading zeros for numbers. So there are different ways that you can format your string. And printf will accept a format string as the first argument, or it will accept just one argument. So the issue is that the programmer here which in this case happens to be me, but I'm intentionally doing a bad job, has not called this by giving it a format string. So this program could be fixed by just changing this one, like so. It says, please print this string. But I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to show you where it goes wrong if you don't. All right, so once again, we will compile this program. So we'll go to our terminal say gcc and we will give it format string dot c and an output of format string now you'll notice something it tells me format string not a string literal and no format arguments and it tells me how to turn off this warning so again gcc is a very good product and by default it warns you about silly things like this so what I'm going to do is call my program, and I'm going to call it with something simple like hyphil. And sure enough, it prints out hyphil. It's a little hard to read because it didn't put a new line in, and that works as expected. What if I give it something like this? Format string, percent %p, percent %p, percent %p, percent %p, percent %n, something the programmer didn't expect. Now I get a segmentation fault. What if I get rid of the percent in? I still have a little bit of a problem, but notice that something interesting happened. I printed out a bunch of numbers, and we'll find out later these numbers are actually pointers to things in memory. If we carefully craft these strings, we can cause a program to crash in exactly the right way. In other words, we can take control of that program, which we will do in some future videos. So we've talked about some very common vulnerabilities in programs. These vulnerabilities can also exist in an operating system kernel. All of the modern operating systems that we use today are kernel-based. So those programmers are just as prone to mistakes as everyone else. So they can make programs that happen to run in the kernel that are flawed. Now, this is extra dangerous because we'll find that programs that run in the kernel have elevated privileges. So they can do things that normal programs cannot. So this makes flaws in those kernels extremely dangerous. But we will talk a little bit about those in future videos as well.